I'll be recording. So where you get the where you where you get the car hauler from? Is it like a is it like an empty like like a like a box? Yeah. Okay, where you where you get it from? From okay. private I call away off or something? Uh, private owner? Uh -huh. Private owner? No, I bought a brand new. Oh you bought oh, okay. So once you gut it out and everything. It, and, not, it come already empty. Uh, it come already you gotta, empty? Yeah, you gotta put the stuff on the wall and stuff All right. on the floor and did you, you put big hoods and did you did you cut some windows in it or? Yeah, I cut the windows, did all the plumbing, did all the little Well, let me let me ask you this. After you know, after that, what was what was? I'm I'm not trying to be nosy, but what was your total investment for everything? Uh, about sixteen, seventeen thousand. Oh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. You only been doing this for like a couple of months, so have you made have you made your money back yet, or? I'm right there making it all back. I got okay. about another five thousand with that. Okay, okay. And that one with me just working a couple of days a week. So if I work all week, I, I can make. It. Well, I mean, you got the summer, you got the summertime, you got your kid. You know what I'm saying? You got your kid. I I I, I, I can see I, I can see that at the end of the end of the month, in a couple of months. Yeah, I, you know? I, 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 I hit it this month. Oh, you hit it? Okay. Yeah, because since we open, man, we're getting a lot of bookings now. I mean, word of mouth them travel, so we, we, we book a lot. Uh, All right. So how, 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 like, how do you, how do, like you do your... I've been since Friday. How, how do you do your promotion? Like over uh, on wife, Facebook or... I do it on Facebook. Facebook? Okay. That's what's up. So on average, how, what about 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes? Um, the other day I found here an hour and a half. So wow. <laughs> Ooh. That's crazy. The they was on, they'll check 30 trucks and let 30 in every time. So. Ooh. And I don't supposed to be here to be ready to serve until 11, but I left the house at 8.30. Yeah, I, you know, my uh, my fleet manager told me to be here by 5, but I was like, shit, I, I, I left at where I was at at about 8 o'clock to get here at about, not 8 o'clock, uh, I'd say around 4, 5 o'clock this morning, and I, you know, I just got up here, so... Now would now being that you have a food truck, you have to go through get all the type of permits, the food permits like restaurants have to do and all like that. Yeah, food permits, health health department, A and P tax permits. Did uh did did the health department come out and they had to inspect your, yeah. your, your, your trailer? Yeah. Before you can even open, they had to come out. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. And they do random pop-up business. Like we did an event out here mm -hmm. Friday night and uh, they got military inspectors, so they, they were about three or four and they came to the door and said, hey, we need to come in. Oh, okay. And then you do, but open the door. Well, open the door. So you think with the success of your your food truck right here, you think you're going to get a couple of more, or you're going to try and open up a restaurant? What's 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 the future plans of, 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 well, of your endeavor? I I really just thought about running that, but everybody that's around me telling me that I need to get a restaurant because the, the, the demand. So like, uh, I'm selling out a lot. Okay. Now do you think now sometimes? But I really don't want to open. Open. Right. Right. Cause you got you got minimum overhead with with the with right. the trailer, right? right. Minimum right. minimum overhead, maximum profit. Yeah. Okay. And when you figure you open up a restaurant, you probably might have 
maximum overhead, minimum profit, because you got to bring in, you got to bring in employees, you know, and all that other good stuff. Yeah, so, that ain't what I'm looking for. I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer. Stay small, make your money. That's it. <coughs> you know, stay small, make your money. That's. You know, if I was to do something else, I might go to another food truck. But I yeah, and let your let your son run it. Yeah. <laughs> but I said I'm gonna go do this too. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for a little bit and give it to him. And Is this that's your own, that's your only son, or you got? I, I got I got three. Oh, okay. All right. My, I, my oldest one is twenty. The one back there, seventeen, and I got fifteen. Uh, but oh, he at okay. home, he just couldn't deal with it. So you figure yeah. you you figure your 17 your, your 17 15 year old you can go ahead and bounce it off to them yeah and that's exactly what i'm gonna do say getting in the Air Force is easy. <laughs> I don't know, all the service is hard. <laughs> yes. I have a registration on my, we need the registration for the truck too? Hold my spot, I'll be right All right, so we need like what, the reg registration for the truck and everything? Yeah, driver's license yeah. okay and the, the bills i guess well in my situation the bills i guess yeah i see so they they pretty much had to check each and every one of us out there. Eighty. Well, it's seventy-three right now, or at least. Hold on, that was at four a.m. Hold on, eighty-one. There we go. Woo! Damn. Moderate. We got about another ten, twelve degrees to go. They say by two o'clock it's supposed to hit 90. Fuck. Around here it's probably gonna be a few degrees hotter than that. So you born and raised down here, Little Rock? Hi, Bluff. Okay. okay. Before I got all this going on with my body, I was a correction officer. What? Get out of here. How, 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 how was that? How was that? Maximum. <coughs> How was that experience? It was an adventure. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. It was an adventure. You know, I talked to uh, I talked to a couple. You know, I got you know I talked to a couple of females that got in the truck, and one of which she was a correctional for, uh, correctional for, correctional for officer, and you know I just asked her what was her experience from a female point of view. You know, he had all the guys just trying to hit on her and shit and all like that, but you know. So what you was you was in with the men or in with the women? Men. Oh, okay. Do they let do they mix the men with just the men and the women with the women, you know, officers and all no, like no, that? No, 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 no. Men men can work at women's prison too. Oh, okay. Okay. You think some hanky panky be going on in there for real, for real? <laughs> a lot of officers got to be messing with the women. Like once you're an inmate, there, there's no thing that's consensual with sex. They can't consent to sex, so if you oh, so fall asleep with them, then that's right. That's right. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, that's right, because they don't have no rights. Wow. So in order, you know, you know I... I if, if you fuck with one of them females, you better make sure that that's the right one because if you turn around and be so some ill shit, she's the one that tells them. I mean, who else would? And that's what that, that's how it goes, period. And, and then you bring them anything and they want something else and you'll bring it, that's what they do. They tell them. It could be something as simple as an eating in this country, man. They go tell on you, 
Like, yeah, you know, I had sex with him and all that. Oh, that's that's a wrap. Like, yeah, so he goes from simple to wow. You know, got off and bring goods and everything else in there. So. So how long you was uh how long you was a correctional officer? Seven years. Seven years? What made you get out of it? <laughs> that one. Yeah. I got I had went and had a surgery and my foot didn't work ever since. <laughs> that was it. <coughs> well last year I couldn't even stay out of bed past five o'clock PM because I feel so much pain. Like I was taking uh 90 milligrams of oxycodone and mm. muscle relaxing. And some power lyrics, I was taking 300 milligrams of that. So I just slept for the last 10, 11 years to this year. <laughs> <coughs> so you was able to get your, you was able to get your SSI early. Yeah. Well, it took me two years after, I had surgery in 2010, it took them to 2012 to give it to me. Okay. They kept saying that they determined that I'm disabled, but I was going to get better. But with complex region of pain syndrome, there ain't no cure for it. Even now, I take, I have to take a lot of narcotics and all that kind of stuff, kind of function. Along with this device in my back, it's controlled by iPod. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and again, it's like this every day, huh? Well, I came out here Friday, it would it wouldn't even align. Like I, I came early because I thought it was gonna be a line but So next time it's best for me to get my ass here early. Yeah, real early. Gotcha. At least, at least two hours early. Gotcha. So the time that I am due here, double that. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm say I'm supposed to be at eleven and I got here even okay. at nine o'clock. And I usually take an hour to prep, so if I don't get on base in the next 30 minutes, then I'm behind. Whew. Yeah, this too much. I mean, really? This, this is. Basically, on one person. Shit, brother, man, baking out here like motherfucking eggs. I'm light up in. Yeah, that is. Yeah, especially right here, man. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start wearing long sleeves. Shit, I know. I'm about I'm just, <laughs> shit, I know the face. I know the arms and shit. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you got a good look. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, for the truck and everything, that's in the book. This is the uh, delip, huh? The work order. Yeah, this. Yeah, the delivery and, of course, my license. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Oh, you talking about this right? one and this one? That's that's me right there. Okay, cool. I just gave them my paperwork. Just to make this easier on everybody, did you trying to get your truck order so that I know as I get you cleared, I can rip people out of here? Okay. Appreciate it. All Thank right. you. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oof. Shit. I think you're a long water. 
water break when I started cooking it. You ain't the only one. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got drink some and then put some in the freezer or in the refrigerator yeah that's that's what's up man how long you been driving uh six years okay yeah six years uh i was uh i was road service tech before i got into it you know me and my wife you know we we decided to go our separate ways and I told my son i was like shit ain't ain't nothing else to do but to go and get my my ceo now so we ain't got it and been gone ever since. <laughs> I like the food truck, it's just something for me to do, man. Feel like I got a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I always, I always had a job, and then when I got this aim with this, like, what do you do? You ain't want to sit home. I don't want to sit I Like, I'm a man, like, I want to work. I want right. to do something. And with the food truck, I can work when I want to work. That's why I say I'm going to do it for a little bit and give it to my kids. I know that. Who knew Donald Trump was going to be a one-termer? <laughs> you talking about running to him in the Mm-hmm. Yeah, one-termer. Yeah, that, 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 that insurgent on the Capitol, that, that was... <laughs> I was, watch, I, was watching, I was watching TV and then it popped up and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, uh, Biden, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Biden either, but, right. you know, I'm not a fan of Biden, but you, you had to, you had to vote for the lessers or lesser of the two evils. Exactly. So. so it's like deal with this, or you deal with strict gun laws and this and that and that. So it's either way it goes. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. I try not to get too deep into the even. Yeah, I, I, I don't do politics either, man. Like, I, I mean, you know, I, I you know, I, you know, I, I, you know, I was a fan of Donald, you know, back in the day, you know, he, you I know, I, I was a fan of him, but as soon as he got in the office, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you know, I did, you know, the, 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 the TV shows and, you know, the movies and all like that, you know, the, the, the Donald, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I was a fan of him. I ain't had no problem with him. But as soon as he got in the office, that was all she wrote. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, that that, that capital riot was strong for me. Yeah. In my mind, I, I I don't I don't think there should be no division of that here. Yeah. It, yeah, as soon as as soon as he got in the office, it was a lot of issues that that came out that came out to play when he got in the office. I mean, it was like everybody else was playing in the background, but as soon as he came out, it was like, oh, okay, we here. <laughs> like, where y'all come from? Man, man, you got all these uh, domestic terrorist groups. Yeah, like you now still, you got to watch it back everywhere you go. You, you still got you, you still got Donald Trump rallies going on, man. Yeah. And dude ain't even in office, and they still rallying for him. He was okay. just in Ohio maybe about a week ago. I remember the, right the hell you, what, what the hell you in Ohio right talking right about, bro? I know right out the election, I had went to the mall here in Little Rock. Mm -hmm. They had a big riot out there. It was a whole group of RVs and people everywhere. Me, I got out of my car, went on in there like I was finna do. Like I'm not finna be intimidated. Man. I shit, I, 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 told, I told a buddy of mine, I was like, shit, well, he played like Obama and just, you know, just go and gracefully, you know, do what he doing and all like that. You don't see Obama out here, well, maybe a few, but not as much as Donald. Like, yeah, I wish I was still in office. Like, bro, you done. You gone. You voted out. Let's go. 